Hey guys, this is Halfjack again. Um, doing a little playing around with the Kerbal Space Program. And um, I'm just going to do some simple things first. Show you what sorts of things you can do. I'm going to skip the tutorial though because that's the kind of guy I am. It's just real simple rockets at first. It's, it's a game where you're in control of the Kerbal, which is the race that you're playing as, their space program. And later, like right now it's in alpha, I think, but later they're going to add in all sorts of other things to let you, like, have missions and stuff like that, and it'll, it'll be pretty cool. But, it's still in alpha, so this is just a real simple rocket I made, and then we're going to go ahead and launch. Skipping that tutorial. <laughs> SAS on there, not a decoupler. The parachute's not gonna... Oh, shit, did I even put the parachute on there? I, if I did, it didn't load. We'll let you... See, look, is still thinking, this is fucking awesome! The other two have realized something is going horribly, horribly wrong. This is just terrible. You poor dumb bastards. The ground is rapidly approaching. There's the launch pad, so, so we cleared that at least. Oh dear. Poor dumb bastards. I think this will be the first time that I've killed a crew unintentionally. Let's see what happened. Structural failure on the linkage. Structural failure on the parachute linkage. Okay, so I did have a parachute, they just... died. Oh, that's cool. They, they made it so that you can keep that stuff in now. Alright. Now we're gonna go for my custom <laughs> rocket. Which pretty much just means you don't have to fly it manually. SAS, like, is autopilot. It keeps your ship stable for you. Which is important. You know what? We will go with a little bit more SA. Oh, actually, I'm gonna go for the tri coupler. Bam! Oh, decoupler first, then the tri coupler. Then we'll put three SAS on there. One on each section. Fuel 
tanks. You gotta have a fuel tank for your uh, liquid engine to work. Um, liquid fuel engines right there. A uh, fuel tank is only good if you do have one of those, and they're only good if you have a fuel tank for it. My first couple rockets, I just had the engines with no fuel tanks, and I was wondering why they weren't flying. It's because you need to hook them up properly. And then I figured out what the boosters are really used for. Like, I used to be a big time space fan, so I knew what everything was, but uh, I, I forgot. That was back when I was in elementary school. So they give you solid fuel boosters, which are, you can't regulate the speed of them, but they're, they're boosters. They're used to boost you when you're first leaving or, or escape reaching escape velocity. Not really much else. So we're going to set up a few boosters on these. These are little outside mounted couplers or decouplers. That way, once the boosters are out of fuel, you can just BAM! Shoot them off. That That is what I like about this game. They have the different stages of the rockets. Really, generally, you want to go for symmetry, but we're making a Let's Play of this. Why would you want to have a rocket built properly for a Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program? <laughs> That's retarded. I'm sorry if you find that word out, or offensive, but not sorry enough to not use it anymore. <laughs> this looks fucking clumsy. Alright, let's go to the launch pad.